For those of you who have not heard of me, my name is Buck Brewster. I hear from the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Maybe you've heard of it. That's where the excellent wrestlers come from. That's right, dude. This is child's play to men like us. And you may remember a buddy of mine named Corn Barber. He couldn't be here. He's busy working Japan, signing autographs, working Ring of Honor. He can't be here right now. But I'll tell you what I'm ready for. I'm ready for my rematch with one Ricky who we have a little problem with. That's what brings me back. But once again, I didn't come alone. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up. Put your hands together for another graduate of the Black and Gray Wrestling Academy, Mr. Ray Sanchez. Ray Sanchez, apparently another graduate from the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Notorious for big splashes and ground and pound. And what is the situation we've got going on here? I hear that these two want to lay the gas down. The game is Ray Sanchez. He's a better man than any of you will ever be. And he hails from the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. This is the last time I'm coming to this damn crappy city. Never coming back again. I'm tired of all you. I'm running back to my trailer park. And Hold on a second. The man who took a beating is tired of having his city torn down. Now, I know you guys came here and you're doing a lot of talking. You see the thing is? I didn't come to talk. Hold on. We got physicality already. Where's the referee for this? Now Scott A. Jr.'s on his way to the ring, too. I guess there's backup after all. What do you make of it? The Black and Bay versus Bob Ricky Raymond and Scott A. Jr. I'm the one that brought me down. I'm looking at myself right now. The mirror nearly breaks itself. I'm screaming out because I need Second match, an impromptu match in the Wrestling in the Park series. Previously in Midwest Wrestling at a live event just one month ago. Members of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, which is owned and operated by one current WWE superstar, previously Tyler Black on, in the indie scene, current star Seth Rollins, is continuously training some of the young and upcoming future stars of the ring and recent graduates from that school have been on a tear and they've been trying to make Wild Wyndham's life miserable along with several of the other members of the Midwest Wrestling roster. And Buck Brewster, who was involved in a very, very physical hardcore match one month ago, after the bout, made it perfectly clear that he was here to hurt people and make a name for himself, as well as KG Torres and a whole host of others from the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, including that huge monster in the corner, Ray Sanchez. Brewster runs in, knocks all the air out of himself, while Wyndham with a roll up, but couldn't finish from there. Scott A. Jr. made his presence known at Midwest Wrestling last month, interfering in a hotly contested bout between Atomico Jr. and Atomico Sr. And was involved in a multi-person tag team war where he elected to take out Bondolero en route to making a name for himself in the Midwest Wrestling scene. While Wyndham took a bad fall on the far side, a camera view over here, and now Ray Sanchez is legal in this match, but he's trying to assault this man on the outside, slamming him head first against that solid steel barricade. Again and again. And this is a violent man who has no remorse for anybody at all whatsoever. Action is traversed back inside of the ring. 
as a count is being ministered, but a two count only. Lots of controversial action here this afternoon. First, there was the six person intergender tag team match. The women and men were going at it against one another. And now the bad blood is boiling over in this one. As obviously, Wild Wyndham is trying to protect Midwest Wrestling from evil influences from the outside and evil invaders from the Black and Brave Academy. And it just seems as though they came in here with a purpose. That element of surprise was the most important part of the whole puzzle. If you don't know who you're wrestling and you're not particularly ready for it, you don't know what to expect. Swinging takedown right there by Sanchez. Couldn't put Wyndham away. Wrestling in the Park Series featuring an awe-inspiring display of both pro wrestling mixed with Lucha Libre. Totally free for an entire fan base right here for the neighborhood of Logan Square. And countless fans and an international fan base that is here for other spectaculars going on this weekend. And Buck Brewster taking liberties, trying to choke Wild Wyndham out on that middle rope. The Black and Brave Wrestling Academy members and graduates, you would think that they would wrestle a very similar style, but they all have personality quirks and differences. And their attitudes and their emotions can change in a heartbeat. And Buck Brewster has an unsettled score with this man that he wants to end in front of everyone, hundreds in attendance for this huge event. Crazy swinging Larry on the run by Wild Wyndham has stopped all of the momentum delivered by Buck Brewster earlier. And now the fans clapping. And they are encouraging Wild Wyndham to make a tag to one of the most technical and one of the most impressive of all the Luchadors. We're training with Sky Day. This is Sky Day Jr. as he's climbed all the way to the top. High cross body block. Put down Ray Sanchez, the bigger man. Sky Day Jr. against two men right here. Sanchez close line his own partner. And the drop kick. Put Sanchez down on the mat, all the way to the outside. Up in the air, tilt the whirl, backbreaker, but Brewster shoots back to his feet. And again, Sky Day Jr. can rotate this man around 20 times if he wants, and so close, two and a half. Two and three quarters, possibly, but not enough to cement the victory on behalf of this unconventional team. Devastating, flying plancha, over the top rope to the outside has laid out Sanchez. And can Wild Wyndham, who's now the legal man in this one, put away Buck Brewster. Big spike body slam right there on behalf of Wyndham. Scott A. Jr. continuing. A big attack out here to Sanchez. Fly splash off the second rope. Sanchez was too late. It's over. Wyndham. Scott A. Jr. They won this tag team war! Game on game! Well, here's the dispatch! The team of Scott A. Jr. And Wild Wyndham! After a painful string of attacks over and over again, delivered by Sanchez and Brewster, Wyndham eventually recovered and hit a well-timed spin clothesline that gave a window of opportunity for Scott A. Jr. to deliver some damage. to squash the air on a Buck Brewster for this matchup right here. And several of the individuals you're seeing in these previous bouts will continue to wrestle later this afternoon in a battle royale, so there's unfinished business. The heck is BD Smooth doing in this ring? He just attacked while winning for no reason. Oh, come on. What the heck are you doing here? Are you kidding me? Ding, 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 ding. You're gonna win the battle round. Corner who? 
What a surprise this is. The first time I can recall seeing Petey Smooth rushing in on this, participating in the Wrestling in the Park series, and clearly Petey Smooth wants to make a statement before the money making Battle Royale later this afternoon where the sponsors have put a big jackpot together for the potential winner. And Petey Smooth has no problem showing off what he has in route to winning big time money later in the day. Oh, the rhythm doesn't want him. I tried to forget, you held me back soon as we met You were always scared of what happens next Unprepared so you feel regret, I'm upset Cause I wasted time, I sat at the base when I should've climbed I stopped with the chase and forgot the grind I feel out of place, empty inside You thought, 